Hey guys, Shane with Jack's Transport out of Amarillo, Texas here. It's payroll review day. I did this a few weeks ago, got a huge response. Um, I'm the owner of the company. Um, yeah, I'm a recruiter, but in the same sense, I don't get a bonus if you come to work here, guys. What I want to do today, I came to Affiliated Foods. It's a, they're a $1.7 billion company here in Amarillo, Texas. That's the job that we're hiring for. We hired 34 guys last month for our OTR division and for Affiliated Foods. Um, guys, we've got 2019 and newer trucks. And today is paycheck review day. So we're hiring for about a 350 mile max radius from Amarillo, Texas. So Dallas, Texas, Albuquerque, Oklahoma City, uh, Colorado Springs, anywhere in that area. Out a day, back a day, out a day, back a day. So anyways, who cares what I have to say? Let's see what these guys are making. Okay, what I did was I took this week's, or we're, 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 these are W-2 company drivers, and we're taking their gross pay, and we're annualizing it to show you what, they what they're would what they making annually. All right, check it out. This driver right here, 110,000 bucks. You guys can see it. You could pause it, zoom in, see what's going on. And I'm showing you the good, the bad, the ugly, baby. 78,000 annually. I white out the guy's name, try to keep some confidentiality. 108,000. Are you making 108,000 bucks as a company driver, going out one day and back a day, taking a 34 hour reset at home, turning your grill on, mowing your lawn? If you're not, you need to look who you're working for, man. Oh my God. You're not uh, so what, so, we, we have so that what you guys, <laughs> what you guys, we don't have to chase freight. Yes, sir. That's correct. We have dedicated freight. We have dedicated planes and we'll get you around in one. Oh my God. This sounds so awesome. I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like, like giddy right now because of, of what he, of what he's offering. So again, let me, let me just make sure, because you know, I'm writing this stuff down. Um, so, number one, as far as orientation goes, you guys will figure out a way of getting us up there, either by plane, train, or automobile. Um, uh, with mm -hmm. that, with that said, all orient, all, all stuff will be done before we get to orientation. So, uh, yes, sir. So you know, the job, the job is one hundred percent yours before we bring you out here. Awesome, awesome. Okay, um, of course you're gonna run the PSP the you know, the background and all that good stuff to get us up there. Um, and uh -huh. and urine as far as drug screening goes, right? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. So, again, 25% of the load, and I can average about, and I'm, I'm just saying on the low end, 2000 a week. Yes, just sir. from Just from three loads. Yes, sir. Wow. Man. <laughs> come on now, come, this is too good. Come, come on now, Tell, wh where's the kind at? This, this is too good to be true. You know, everybody always asks that, but I mean, honestly, there's not. You know, we're we're very upfront. We're very, you know, transparent in telling drivers what they're going to be making. Um, I know, you know if you go on to our Facebook page, you know, Jack Transport Amarillo, scroll on down. You can see Shane made a video, I think it's been about three weeks ago now, where he's actually showing y'all our driver settlement. So you can see the proof in the paper, you know? Wow. And how how long, well, let me see. I think he says he's been in business since 2008. So about a little over 10 mm -hmm. years, right? Yeah, he's, he's going on, uh, I believe it's 14 years. <sighs> wow. That's, that's crazy. That That is that's crazy good. that that you know this he's an owner operator that actually came and i'm i'm surprised that he actually came on facebook and actually opened up the door to his company like look this is my company this is where it's at this is what i do and this is what i'm offering you i like that i, I like that tell him i gotta give him a round of applause for that one um all right so as far <laughs> as sure. as far as as far as the equipment uh says 2018 is mm -hmm. newer. what what equipment do you guys run we have freightliners international volvos and maps okay can we choose or can we choose what we want to drive or 
or is it or is it so set i mean tools? it really is just going to depend on when when you come in you know if we have a couple of trucks then yeah definitely but you know with the influx of drivers that we are hiring right now it's kind of just you know what you walk into okay. but um i mean they're all good trucks no matter what and if we put you in one that you're not a huge fan of just say hey whenever you have something more i'd like to switch all right uh, will we be? Will we have a choice of uh, manuals or automatics, or is your whole fleet automatics? They're all automatics. Okay. Now, see, I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm a six year driver. I'm not an old school driver, uh-huh. but a lot of old school drivers feel some kind of way about mm-hmm. auto- automatics. And being that you guys only been in existence for like fourteen years or so. Did you guys have manuals at one point, or was it, or what was the idea behind him going a whole automatic fleet? I mean, we did at one point, you know, back when he first started, because I mean, I mean, that is what drivers think, you know, they want those the, the those manuals. But the thing is about those is the gas mileage on an automatic is so much better. If you take, you know, a manual and you take an automatic, you drive it the same route. You're gonna spend more in gas. You're gonna spend more in diesel than you are on the, with an automatic. And not only that, are you saving money by driving an automatic? Now these days, I mean, these newer drivers, you know, the ones that are just now getting their CDLs, they don't know how to drive the manual. And on their license, they have a restriction: automatic only. Mm. So we would be doing ourselves a disservice to not have automatic. Okay. You know, because then we're not going to be able to bring on those newer drivers. Well said. Thank you on that. Well said. I'll definitely tell my old school friends about what you just said about that. Uh, 34, yeah, for sure. Now, on here, you said 34-hour reset at home. Can can it be more than that? I'm, I, I like, you know, like if I get home Friday, uh, if I get home Friday, I like to come back out on Monday. Would that be a problem? No, that wouldn't be a problem, you know, as long as you've hit your, you know, the required miles, which you're going to have to run each week, which, you know, that's 26 to 2,800 miles, right. which easily you're going to be able to do that with the road loads that you're on, then, yeah, you can definitely stay home. All right. Awesome. Uh, what about what about the benefits? Uh, what, what benefits do you guys offer? Because that's another big thing to me, too. Yeah, of course. So we have United Healthcare for all of our drivers um, that you're eligible for after 60 days. Coming in, you'll automatically have supplemental benefits that you can get through AFLAC. We'll give you a pamphlet when you come in if you want to opt into any of that. Mm-hmm. And then we have 401k after one year. Vacation, you'll get your first week after six months and your second week after one year. Oh, okay, okay. Now, now the benefits, is is that company paid or is that, or do you guys pay half? We pay or, 50%. Or uh-huh. y'all pay 50%. We pay half of it. Okay, and then I pay the other half out of my weekly salary. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh, weekly settlements every week, every two weeks. Yes, every week, every Friday. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, equipment. Back to the equipment. What's mm-hmm. what's mm-hmm. all of the uh, amenities inside the equipment? So we have inverters. We have um, if there's not a refrigerator in there because they're newer trucks, you know, we're just not bringing them in. You're more than welcome to stop at the truck stop, buy one, we'll pay for you. Just call for an EFS. Awesome. Um, you know, and with them being all new trucks, you know, we're going to have tablets that you can put in there, brand new ELDs. We're going to have pre passes in the truck. Uh, what about so what, what, what about driver cameras? What's what's the stance on uh, driver cameras? Uh, we don't have any in there. If you want to put one on your dash here, I mean, you're more than welcome to. But we don't have cameras in there. Okay. Okay. So this, so I I, I can honest I, I I can safely say that this is a this is an owner operator uh, company that 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 uh, that what's the word I'm looking for? It's it's right there on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> but I, he's he's he he trusts his drivers. In other yes, words, yes, one hundred percent. Yes. Okay. Sir. Okay. So basically, it's basically it's all about trust. Uh, with this yep, company, exactly. Awesome. Yes, sir. Trust and communication. That's the biggest thing. So down here, as I as I read a little more, and, and thank you for your time. I, I really do appreciate oh, it. Oh, yeah. You're fine. Um, down here, as I read a little more, um, we can uh, we can upgrade to uh, 
uh, company financing as far as getting the truck. So does that mean yes, I had to, does that mean I had to, is that a leasing program or how did that work yeah, if, so I, if I want to get, get a, a truck? Lease. Yes, sir. So we have a lease purchase program. You know, our standard is to tell guys you come in, work for us for six months. That way you get a feel. Do you like us? Do we like you? Are you making the kind of money that you want to make? Everything like that before you go into a commitment of buying a truck from us. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we, of course, we're going to say that standard is six months, but, you know, you come in, you kick ass for three months, you're doing awesome, you have the money, you want to buy a truck, then, you know, we're all about it. Okay. You're going to put $5,000 down, and then we'll work on deciding, you know, figuring out what your payment's going to be, depending on just what you can afford for a monthly thing, and have the truck paid off within three to five years. Awesome. So, th- is this a, now let me ask you this, now being that this is in-house, is this a walk away lease or am I am I subject to the to the lease? Okay, sorry, what was that question? Uh being that this is an in house financing, am is this a walk away mm-hmm. lease or am I subject to the lease? On the front of the box it'll say. Um so you're gonna sign a lease with the company. Um I'm honestly not positive if you know, if you are, you know, the lease the truck and then leave, how that would work. I mm. that's honestly a question I'd have to ask. I don't want to lie to you there. Right. Oh, okay. Awesome. Awesome. Because I was just kind of like, you know, companies like, you know, mega carriers that offers leasing mm-hmm. and everything, you know, it's more of a walk away lease with them. But being that this is a small, you know, being that this is a small company, I I I I just wanted to make sure that if it was like if something was to happen if a person get fired or or they walk you know or they quit would they be able to walk away from the lease without being penalized for the lease? You see what I'm saying? Oh, so that yeah, I mean it, it you know if, if something happens and you decide to part ways whatever, you're not going to be penalized in any way. You know, I mean the truck probably you're know, obviously going to stay with us, but you know, because we're going to be the ones financing it. But, um, you know, the hope is to get you in here, keep you happy, get you to, you know, pay the truck off and then start building your fleet. If that's what you want to do, start building a company within our company. I don't know if you read down there more on his post where he talks about like Cirilla Montanez. He has 59 trucks with us. Right. He started with us seven years ago as a company driver, bought his first truck within six months. He now has 59 and he does nothing but sit at home and dispatch his guys. Okay. And that, and he, He's running off of you guys' authority, pretty much. Yes, sir. He runs under our authority. Okay, okay, okay. So that's so that's what's up. So I am able to. So that's what that all those names down here at the bottom. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so because he's I was just about guys that started out as yeah. company, and then you know they built up their fleet within ours. Okay, that's what I'm looking at. I'm like, well, what's all these names? But okay, so those are the guys that actually started out with you guys' as company, and throughout the line, they they was able to to build a fleet within the company. Uh huh. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Now let me ask you this: if if how how much more how much more would uh, a lease driver make then? So as a company driver, you're making 25% of the growth. As a lease driver, you're making 76%. Oh, that's even Okay. Okay. Awesome. Yes, awesome. sir. Okay. All uh-huh. right. Um, wow. Well, mm. <laughs> well, I, I, I tell you what, man, this this has been a beautiful conversation. I mean, this... You know, I I I I gotta I gotta say I gotta put this company like number one on the list when I when I go back and and you know share you. Let me ask you this: You mind if I go back and share this information that I got from you with yeah, with, with the rest of rest of my uh, social media people? Yeah, please do. I mean that that's the hope. You know, we didn't post an ad out for three weeks because we had so many applications you know we have so many guys starting we needed to buy more trucks before we kept accepting applications right but you know shane just bought 20 more trucks yesterday so so i have them i need to, i need to fill them okay. <laughs> so you know yeah definitely go out there share that for us uh shoot shane a text message and tell him that you talked to me and that i gave you all the information you needed and that you know you look forward to working with us and Hopefully he'll get back to you. He's over in Mexico today. He he'll be over there until Sunday. His son, him and his son race, 
They're oh, doing okay. the Baja no, 400 no, this no, week. No so. wonder nobody <laughs> didn't answer the phone because I, I uh-huh. you know, I got this. Uh, I, you know, like I said, I'm I'm in the post. I got uh, uh-huh. and plus one of my uh, one of my one of my good people. They they sent the. Uh, they sent this over to me and they was like, yo, you should give these guys a call and, and, and uh-huh. say what's up. And I was like, I was like, who, who, who's I should call? And I'm looking and I'm reading and I'm like, oh, man. Like, oh, yeah, I'm this, calling. This, this, this post right here is, is, is awesome. All right. Well, all right. all right. Well, I'll tell you what. Listen, I, I really do appreciate the honesty, the openness. Uh, my name's yeah, my sure. name's Lashawn, and I go by the moniker Lockout Man, and I do okay. uh, I I do uh, I do promote uh, companies uh, within social media because I do have a following. I do have a lot of drivers that you know that that you know look upon me to get this type of information for them so they can make up their mind and and with talking to you and and and. The information that he put out on on Facebook, I I think this probably might be, you know, might be a company for, you know, somebody, you know, that's interested in coming in. Let me ask you this. As far as uh, Mm -hmm. as far as they coming in, uh, what's 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 the least amount of experience they need to come with your company? One year. Okay. Do you get so mm-hmm. they, so you guys is not looking for guys that's coming out of out of school though. They gotta at least have We're one working year on it year. right now. Okay. Yeah, as of right now we need at least one year. Six months ago we needed two years. We've gotten that down to one. And we're I mean, every day we're working with our insurance company trying to figure out a way to where we can get these guys fresh out of college because I mean, who's gonna give them a chance if no one will? You know? So, you know, we're working on it every day, and that's why we always tell people to keep an eye out on our social media because as things change, as things are, you know, grow for us, we'll be able to keep guys in touch there say, hey, we finally have this available. As of right now, though, we are going to require that one year. Awesome, awesome. And another big thing that's going on on social media right now (coughs) Uh uh, is some of the people are asking about, uh, you know, the drug testing and everything. Um, mm-hmm. what can get people disqualified when they, when they, when they try, when they trying to get with you guys? So the things that are going to get people disqualified is, you know, our insurance isn't going to accept somebody with more than three moving violations in the last three years. Um, any more than two accidents at fault accidents within the last two years. And then a failed drug screen. Oh. That, that's really the only things that are going to disqualify you. Okay, so let me ask you this: If somebody had a, if if somebody had an accident uh, in 2019, so they in order to get with you guys, they gotta wait until 2023 or 2022. No, so it's kind of just gonna depend on what the accident shows up as, what it's reporting as on their NVR, and they it it has to be two accidents. Two accidents are what's gonna disqualify them. Oh, okay. And it has to be two at ball accidents within the last three years. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So if somebody, so if somebody, if it wasn't that, if if it wasn't their fault, and if it's only one, they still got a chance to get in with you. Correct. Uh-huh. Okay. And as far as as far as moving violations, uh, do y'all now? As no far more as, than three in three years. Okay. Now let me ask you this. Now do you do you guys check? Uh, for moving violations on the DAC report or on their MVR on their driver's We look license. at MVR and PSP. Oh, MVR and PSP. Okay. So yes, if, uh-huh. if like only minor, because a lot of companies put like minor stuff on people's DAC report, which, which makes it. Yeah, I know. And that's why we don't even look at a DAC report because, you know, sometimes there's stuff on there that, I mean, it, it shouldn't even be on there. Gotcha, gotcha. See, they're guys, man. Listen to this lady, man, man. Okay, okay. Look, <laughs> look. Listen. Thank you very, very, very much uh, for your time. Yeah, for sure. Uh, and for if your- you want to put my name out there on that post when you share it to say, "Hey, this is Alicia. This is um, I, I want to give you my phone number because." Well, this, I, you I'll tell you what, I'm about to change phone is forward and over. I'm, I'm about to tell you what I'm about to hear. Listen, this is my email. It is lockout men, L O C K O U T 
M E N podcast P O D C A S T at Gmail dot com. Um send me everything that you want that you want me to put out there, including the Intelli link. And I will okay. I will put I will put that in my post and I will get all this good information out there for you guys. Okay. Sounds good. I'll send you that information over here in just a minute, okay? All right. I appreciate it. And thank you very much for your time. Yeah, thank you. You have a great day. You too now. Mm, Bye. Jack's Transportation out of Amarillo, Texas.